Dr. Kim, do you see a lot of couples in the counseling room with insecurities? Yes, I think most couples have insecurities, one or the other, probably both of them. I think it's something we probably bring into marriage. It's kind of some of the baggage we usually care and or carry. And then some of it occurs because of things that happen in the marriage. And I think just some ways insecurity just goes with the culture we live in. I'm not beautiful enough. I'm not handsome enough. I'm not skinny enough. I'm not, you know, somebody's always better than me. We all go through this comparison thing, which is so unhealthy, but it, but it puts us in a, in a negative position and we're insecure. And then I think there's the things that affect a marriage directly. Um, fear of living a spouse, fear of jealousies that come in, um, electronic checking that it's, it's my spouse, checking and doing something there, or there's a text you don't understand and you don't ask them. And so then you start feeling insecure, get paranoid. Uh, some people, they just, uh, because those things need reassurance all the time. And then that gets frustrating and, and, you know, just all kinds of things can happen. And then I think sometimes people because of insecurities avoid confrontation because they don't know how to do it in a healthy way. And then, so that goes undealt with, and then that kind of builds up. So insecurities, I think are there. I think we all have them in one way or the other. I mean, we, we know as Christians, our security comes from Christ and our relationship with him and that we don't need to have insecurities, but within the world we live in, the culture we live in, it's hard. It's very yeah. difficult. And then I think the key is then if I've got an insecurity, do I deal with it in a healthy way or an unhealthy way? And that's the difference. Yeah, that is the difference. I agree. I think, you know, it's just an interesting time that we're living in where we really are very insecure and anxious people, kind of paranoid. And I think part of that is the information overload that we have, right? Absolutely. So anytime anything bad happens anywhere on the planet, we know about it because of the internet. Um, and so for me personally, just I don't know a couple that where one or both of them doesn't struggle with insecurities in some way, shape or another. And it always plays out in the marriage because it affects your relationships, how you view yourself absolutely affects how you're going to interact with others, right? We don't, it's not a vacuum like that. It's going to spill I'm over. Saying. I think the hard thing about it is this plays out in a million different ways. And so some people are insecure about how they look. Some people are insecure about who they are, about their personality. Yeah. Um, so others are insecure about money or yeah. work or their role in their career or their role as a spouse. Some of us are insecure in our friendships and our relationship with others um, and how we participate in church in our giftings, abilities, the list goes on. And yep. so I think that's, what's hard about this is I think a lot of us, I think all of us deal with insecurities, but I don't know that we would label it that 